Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save bar. We are jumping in again, going for win number 30. This time as good old Stevie Eve. Um, we're going to just jump in and this time I will not be using the razor blade straight away as much as I want to. Um, I really, really don't want to die. Um, got to admit I'm not a big fan of this as a room. Um... I was going to say what's the best course of action here, but I think the best course of action is literally just to wait for it to be over. This is a very strange room, I've got to say. I think everything's just going to kill itself eventually, right? This is very strange. What a weird room. It looks very daunting to start with, but then you kind of realise that it's just... It's just going to be over. I'm not sure why this guy up here isn't bothering to, uh... Make his way downtown. He's finally making it. There you go. Like, <laughs> that room's so silly. It literally took so long that it ended itself. That's, um, that's not great room design, I've got to say. That's not great room design. But, hey her, it is what it is. But yeah, we are going to have to play a little bit with low, um, this room really sucks. We are going to have to play a little bit with, uh, some low HP here. It just kind of is what it is. Right, bait out the shots. Oh, bugger. So this is why I didn't, uh, I didn't want to use my razor just in case. Honestly, I'm letting my crow do this. Thank you. That's bullshit. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, how is everybody this fine, fine day? I'm having a good time. I'm, like, really enjoying Isaac at the minute. This is, like, my fifth Isaac recording of the day, or fourth or fifth. I've been recording a lot today because it's, like I said, the day before my holiday. And I'm just thoroughly enjoying Isaac right now. The stress is getting to me a little bit, I'll admit. But that's why I'm going on holiday, right? Take a take a break. Chill out a little bit. Clear my head. So I can sort of de-stress on the Isaac and come back. Hopefully with my streak still intact, but we'll find out. I would like to take that with my current HP. I'm not particularly happy about it. Loaded dice is incredible. Um, razor blade for now, I will leave you. Loaded dice is really interesting. Right now it does pretty much nothing to help us, but later down the line it's really, really good. Basically, it will... Oh, no. These guys rebirthing is not very good. Uh, basically what it'll do is... Um, when we re-roll an item using it, it will re-roll it into an item we already have. Which honestly sounds pretty bad, like, potentially, but it, it's got the potential to be really goddamn good. Especially early on, we have less items. If we get, like, the pentagram from our boss here, it means that we can just keep getting pentagrams over and over and over again. Every single time we get an item, uh, as long as we have a charge. It's, it's pretty nuts. Um, but yeah, at the minute, we're, we're definitely going to be on the struggle bus a little bit here. Um, especially on the first floor, we don't get an item room and stuff. Um, uh, while we have ridiculously low damage, I'm really hoping for a damage or tear rate up from our first boss. Just to make our life a little bit easier. As I said, we could just take damage if we wanted to, to, um, make ourselves safer. But I really want a soul heart before I did that. Um, because all it takes is a really rough room. Or, um, a, a particularly difficult champion enemy. Or even just a hard boss. And my entire run is dead just because of a, a one hit. And it's like, yeah, it's like I played Judas and got lucky, but I really don't want to sort of play it on, oh, well, I might get lucky sort of thing. Let's see if we've got a soul heart in here. Uh, we do have a soul heart in here. Um, therefore, I will do this. Boom. Boom. Okay, so now we've got damage, we've got speed, and we've got the soul heart. So now I feel a hell of a lot better. This is... This is basically completely changed the early game for us now we can actually do some good stuff but yeah um as for the um question of the day with us having loaded d6 here what's something you'd duplicate just in general what's something if you could duplicate you'd duplicate i think that's an interesting question that could go many ways depending on how people interpret it so i'm just gonna leave that open to interpretation and you guys can kind of decide what i mean by that or what you think i mean by that Flight doesn't do much for us here. Uh, loaded D6 is going to be completely useless for a little bit here. Um, do got to remember how this guy works, which at the minute I don't particularly remember how he works. Oh, that was bad. He's not that hard, honestly. I'm just a little bit of a goofball. There you go. And we take Binky, which is very good. And Binky's a really good one because we can now go back over to... 
By the way, I also won't duplicate things into items that don't do anything. Uh, so we can do this and... Does this stack? Just let me, let me just check something. We'll prioritize items that aren't useless when stacked. So this hopefully does something. Okay, no, it doesn't. Good. <laughs> we'll prioritize, I guess, is the key, is the optimum word there. It doesn't always give you something that does something when stacked, but that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. In terms of bosses we can go for here, um, Mega Satan's probably the, the right call for us right now. We'll see, but yeah. Unfortunately, the, the, we do have a little bit of a problem here in the sort of the more duplicates we get of items that don't stack, the more likely we are to get duplicates of that same item. Um, and we can create kind of a, a problem for ourselves where we just keep getting the same item over and over again. We could just get a bunch of horror Babylons. And then the load of D6 is basically useless. So let's hope we don't do that. I was really hoping to get another binky there, but you can't win them all. You can't win them all. There's a key. Lovely. Heart shape balloon. We had this recently. It is incredible. Basically, um, it's just a way of getting a ton of HP. Um, although, one problem with it, I foresee, is it can give you a lot of eternal hearts, which isn't ideal for us unless we want to go devil deal. But as this character, honestly, we probably do want to go devil deal, so... Probably preferable we go that way anyways. But basically, I think it's if you do... Uh, I don't know how many rooms in a row it is. I think it's like 10 rooms in a row without taking any damage. It gives you an eternal heart. It might not be 10. It might be less. Um, it might also be more. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember at all. But we'll see. Uh, boom, bow. This was a bad idea. One sec, one sec. Oh, I fucking took a red heart by accident. God damn it. So now we need a blood donation machine in order to... Uh, Get back down to Horror Babylon. Or oh, we just need to take a Devil Deal here. Unfortunately, we've got a bad champion here. This guy splits. It's a bit of a rough room here. If I take damage, don't blame me. Okay, so now we've got rid of all the fires. So there's no chance of these guys getting lit up now, which is nice. Oh, uh, apart from when he does that. Apparently that also makes them light up. But yeah, having the green version of this guy means there's bloody fucking two of them. Which is a little annoying, but manageable. Okay. <sighs> a little annoying, but we, we got there. I'm annoyed to lose my horror Babylon to some stupid shit. Um, I guess I'll just take that at this point. Oh, wait, what was I doing again? I'm pretty sure I was trying to do this. Oh, come on, it didn't even work. I thought that was an uber mega player right there. It, it was sadly not. Right. Check what's going on in here. Oh, god damn, this is gross. We get this boss and we don't even have, um, what's it called? We don't even have a Horror Babylon activated. We've got two Horror Babylons and neither are activated. It's big sad. And I really need the, um, what's it called for this guy as well. Devil Deal. I'm actually kind of happy to have my crew doing things now. <sighs> God, this boss. This boss, man. Just one of those bosses that takes a while. And it's quite dangerous as well. well. Luckily, we got him taken care of reasonably quickly. Unfortunately, we get Corn Kernel, which I will be re-rolling. <laughs> Dead bird. Gotta love it. This is the heaviest gamble so far. Of the series, this is the heaviest gamble so far. But I need to get rid of my red health. And basically right now, I am entirely gambling on one of two things. HP up in here, which it isn't. It's a good item though. Um, and the other gamble is donation machine to bomb and a soul heart in the shop.
No soul heart in the shop. Okay, this has put us in a very dire situation. Now, the good thing is, Heart Shaped Balloon can pay out with some good stuff. The question right now is, do I want to gamble on taking the sty? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. It's such a good item, but it's just not worth. Question as well is, do I want to gamble on a secret room? Which I'm pretty sure to be just below here. Yeah, it's almost certainly here. I'm going to gamble on it. There's a reasonable chance of getting HP. And there you go, baby. It's not good HP, but it is HP. Feel a lot, lot better now. And we can uh, skedaddle, skadoodle, feeling a little bit better. But yeah, now we have two dead birds. And two Horror Babylons. So, unfortunately, Binky or Heart Balloon, which are the two items I'd love to get duplicated. So far, haven't been duplicated, which is a real shame. Feel a little bit better now, but yeah, no chance of getting out of Horror Babylon. We've got Ocular Rift here. Um, this could be an interesting room. If there's a bunch of... Um, if there's a bunch of... Uh, spacebar items we don't want in the library, a bunch of books. We could re-roll them all into... Um, for you. We could re-roll them all into items. Oh, there you go, baby. So, this is actually perfectly fine to take. We can take one Eternal Heart here. Oh, bugger you, dude. What the hell? So, I, I'm only seeing one dead bird at the minute, but they might, it might just be that both dead birds are overlapped over one another. So, I can't actually speak to the efficacy of if that's working or not. A little annoying either way. Goddamn troll bombs, man. Goddamn troll bombs. This is a room I also don't like, but I was able to turn off the grimaces early, which is very, very nice. But. This is really stressing me out because this is win number 30. This is such a big milestone win for me. Look upgrade's pretty lovely here. Still holding on to this hanged man in case there's a use for it so far. I've not really not thought of one, but I'm sure one will make itself apparent at some point. Need a key for that bad boy. We well, need two keys this floor as well, really, because I'd like to go to the library at some point. I love how like powerful the pull is on the rifts. Pulls enemies from such a long distance away. There's another pop for a uh, Eternal Heart popping. Yeah, not having keys right now is a bit of a bummer. And it doesn't look like we're going to get many. This is upsetty. There's one at least. Question is, is item room better or is library better? I think library's better, technically. Are we going to have to decide? No, we don't have to decide. Lovely. Right. Go do our thing over here. Right. Item room, I'm hoping, has something I just want to take. Well, it's something that I'll be taking either way. Juicy sack, not particularly good, but not particularly bad. Actually, juicy sack's okay. I wouldn't, I, I'd say it's better than not particularly good. It's, it's okay. It gives us some spiders here and there, does some slowing. This is bad because all of these require spikes. Oh, we've got a hanged man card though. Okay, so. We hanged man. We check them all for bookworm and see if we've got anything that gives us HP. And we get ourselves bookworm. And now we re-roll them all. And we get ourselves another dead bird. Another Horror Babylon, another Heart Shaped Balloon, and another Dead Bird. Okay, we've entered problematic territory now. So heart sh having two Heart Shaped Balloons is incredible. Like, I've just got to say, that's that's absolutely amazing. Problem right now is we have four Dead Birds which and three Horror Babylons, which, annoyingly, that basically means that all of our future roles on this active are likely to be more dead birds and horror babylons which is making the active less and less useful which is a shame it's a little annoying that it's supposed to prioritize things that stack and it's given me horror babylon three times which literally does nothing uh, i'm a little bit miffed about that but hey her it's luck of the draw you can't can't always go the way you want 
Uh, right. I think we're good to go to the next floor. But yeah, having two heart-shaped balloons is really, really strong. Essentially, uh, we're going to be getting good amounts of HP every time we get hit. And if we don't get hit, we're going to be getting eternal hearts on the regular. Which isn't particularly good, but... As you just saw, we can get Baleful Hearts, which don't give us full red hearts. And on top of that, it does mean we've now got more deal with the Devil Fodder. Which is always good. Getting a key there straight away is pretty lovely. Looking for ocular rift shots at this point on a room like this, because these guys are going to be a nightmare otherwise. Apparently not, not okay to get a single one. There's another one. That gave us a heart that isn't that would normally be an eternal heart, but it's replaced by something else. We got lucky on both accounts there. I can't believe we had that hangman card ripe and ready for that library. That was so nice. I'm just a little annoyed that we didn't get a single extra um, binky, and we only got one heart shaped balloon and bloody two goddamn crows. Ugh. Tis a little annoying. Is that it? Is that over? Nope, there's still two more fellas hanging about. Good, good, good. The loaded dice is ready once again. At this point, I don't even think there's much point in using the loaded dice. I think we're just going to get so many crows. If the crows actually do stack, it's not a particularly bad thing. I just kind of don't think they, they, uh, they do stack for some reason. Lost our baleful heart. We did get a soul heart out of that. We need another key if we want to go into that, and right now I don't really... For one, I actually don't have that. For two, I want to go to my item room first, so... Tin, actually, that'd be... Hmm, that'd be Horror Babylon. Uh, the switched over version of Horror Babylon, which is pretty good. Basically, it gives us a tears up rather than a damage up whenever we have red HP, which we are likely to have because of heart-shaped balloon, so... Certainly some tempting potential there, but... I don't know about it. Gimme. Prance rotating effect list. That that can be pretty bad for us. It's, it's generally good, but I'm not going to take it because it can be bad. Oh god, these guys are getting slinky. But in, in a room like this, for example, I just, I, just, I just need to check something. Is there any way that I can hurt myself in this room? No, there isn't. It's okay. I'll do it in the next room. Plastic bag? I'll take plastic bag. Right, next room, for example. Let's get ourselves hit. Didn't... Didn't work. I got myself hit to pop my balloon so I'd get some extra good stuff. Didn't get good stuff. Didn't work the way I thought it would. Good stuff. Good item there as well. Okay, thank you for destroying all the fires, my good guy. That I appreciate you for. Good old Lumper Coal. Although we could reroll. Now I'll take Lumper Coal. Lumper Coal's still good. Um, we've got the Broken Heart reroll thing going on. Um, and I am going to take the uh, Horror Babylon thing only because it's not really a bad thing because we still have a Horror of Babylon. We're just going to have the other one as well, so it basically doesn't matter which way we go. There's a Baleful Heart. So yeah, I'll take that. Dude, do we get both at once? Oh shit, we get both bonuses at once if we're at exactly one red heart. Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> I'm very glad I took that. I didn't realize we'd be able to have both bonuses at once. That's kind of amazing. Uh, shot speed, I'll take the tears. Yeah, this is, this is pretty incredible. I like this. Yeah, I'm pretty reluctant to use my loaded D6 now because I kind of, I kind of know where it's gonna go. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get another goddamn crew. But I'm very pleased to see that both of the horror Babylons work at the same time. That's really nice. Anyways, down we go. 
Um, we was going to do Mega Satan, so at this point, that ain't happening. Um, what else we got going on? We could technically do the Beast. I suppose, actually, the Beast is probably a good idea, to be honest. I just took an Eternal Heart by accident, though. My bad. I didn't mean to take that. So that's kind of ruined our Horror Babylon situation right now. That I was just saying about how good it was. Okay, I'm going to need to get rid of this other red heart. Pretty swiftish. I'm going to say I never want above one red heart, really. That makes things easier. Lovely. Right, come on, you guys. Don't be pricks. We want the Baleful Heart. Leave that there for now. What boss are we on? Yeah, we can do the boss now. It's the fat boy who kind of hits me quite a lot, to be honest, so let's be careful. The rifts make him a lot easier, actually. There you go. Nice one. Rifts make him a hell of a lot easier. Yes, we got the devil deal. Um, let's have a little look-see here. Fettered probably is a good one to take. And this one I'm willing to re-roll. I'm very happy with that re-roll. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, actually, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Well, we just got to make sure not to pick up another Eternal Heart. This floor is all. But overall, that is fine. Oh, where we go. But yeah, the Shadow Shape Balloon doesn't just pay out with uh, Eternal Hearts. It can pay out with, like, regular hearts if you get hit a bit earlier as well. We have two Baleful Hearts as well going on right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the Beast fight. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't have Tainted Eve unlocked yet. So if I grab this Trinket, I can leave this Trinket behind as well. There's two more Eternal Hearts there. HP up, speed up. Definitely the speed up right now for us, thank you. And we get Speedball, one more Syringe, and we're good to go. Quickly check out what's going on with the shop. I guess I'll take the Placard. Probably should have taken the Charge Baby, actually. Probably would have been slightly more beneficial, but... I kind of thought it was a normal battery for a hot second, so I didn't really see it. Right. I can leave this floor now. Boop, 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 Right. We are good to go. Um, yeah, so let's leave this trinket in here. And we've got our key pieces and then we can unlock Tainted Eve, which we're, somehow we haven't done yet. Wow, another bit. I'm loving the Baleful Hearts we've got going on right now. There's quite a few Eternal Hearts about that I don't want, but the Baleful Hearts, baby. I'm liking those. We've got three at the moment. We're just firing off ghosts like nobody's business. I like it. And there's our first shop thing. See, these shops are actually pretty good if we can get the money, because that's more items we can use our loaded D6 on, and then we can choose if we want them or not. Increased tier knockback. That's kind of an interesting idea, but don't really want to mess with it. 
Gotta say, this is a rather worrisome room. There's another two eternal hearts. See what I mean by the heart shape balloons just being insanely good? Like, at the minute, we're not, like, we don't want the actual uh, hearts that it's offering us. So it's a bit weird. But overall, it's good stuff. Good, good. See you there, Hursty boy. And there's the boss done. Give me that real quick. Full card out. Keep the negative for now so we get extra damage for the rest of the floor. And then we put it... We plug it in once we leave. Ocular Rift needs to proc more. We've got two luck. It should be proccing a little bit more than it is, I think. And this little fucker's just chilling constantly. Right. So that's what we're looking for. Good old item room. Ooh, hello. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I've had this before. Haven't need to use our uh, loaded dice in a little while, actually. Have we been to our shop? Oh god, more eternal hearts. I don't need them. I don't need them. It's kind of weird, because like, I'm not at max HP. It would be a good idea to take them. There's literally so many of them on this floor. But I just... There's just no reason to take them. Like, we'd lose like a massive portion of our tears. And damage. It's just silly to take them. That's actually a pretty good trinket for us. Not really now, but in general it would have been. Another Eternal Heart. Shop-wise, nothing much. We did get Steam Sale, which we'll re-roll into. Ooh, look, another dead bird. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Right. We are off. I can't remember where the fucking starting room is, I'll be honest. Where is the starting room? <laughs> Here it is. Okay, cool. We are good to go. Another two eternal hearts. I can literally get like three full heart containers at every floor. I need to be getting hit earlier so that I get soul hearts. There is a, there is probably a way I can game it to make sure I get soul hearts. But I'm just not smart enough to do that. That bomb was coming for me. We do have enough to buy that item if we can reroll into something good, but you know what it'll reroll into at this point, don't you? We all know what it'll reroll into at this point. Ooh, baby, this is good. This is a lot of stats up. We'll take that instead. And it gives us this as well. Okay, that, that was good stuff. I'm glad I took that. I know that I was just saying about taking the other thing, but... Honestly, it gives you it gives you so much to work with. So many additional stats. Stats per familiar, and we've got already got quite a few. And it gave us plus one. That's two more eternal hearts. The amount of rooms it takes to get eternal hearts is kind of silly. <laughs> it's so few. You expect it to be a hell of a lot more than it actually is. It's like six rooms. Without getting hit to get an eternal heart. Which is the same as a uh, prayer card, I guess. Whatever. I just want to say, whatever the hell this is, I do not like it. 
You wanna fly on downtown so I can kill you, little pro buddy? I think we lost one of our thingy hearts. Okay. Yep, this is this is fucked. I have no idea. That is so fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way that I could have actually paid enough attention to understand understood what was happening there. But, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Ain't happening with my brain. Ain't even remotely happening with my brain. More of these goddamn flying beaches. I can't remember what the, the thingy buddy does. Just land, you fucks. Ow. Okay, we have lost a lot of HP. I don't know if this is good. Okay, that is that is good. Does that make our tears even smaller though? No, it doesn't. Okay. You trapped me, you fool. I need a lot more HP. Luckily, um, I was going to say sleeping in a bed will give us a bunch of HP, but it won't because we do have one red heart. It's just because it's a morbid heart that I can't quite tell. Didn't we uh, drop a trinket on this floor? No, that was a floor before, I think. Um. Okay, this isn't exactly super valuable, but I do have six pennies of which I'm doing nothing with. Let's try and get something out of this. Even a soul heart would be pretty good. I mean, missing poster is a revive, so it's better than what I currently have. Another baleful heart coming in clutch. Well, now I'm going to go play this machine even more. Let me drop that over there. Okay, one soul heart so far. I'm pretty happy that I got even one soul heart there. That's, that's, that's good enough for me. Wasn't expecting the machine to break quite so quickly, but hey her. Right, here we go, we got that now. Big spinny boy is still spinning. We got him. I gotta say, we're having two heart balloons, I'm pretty sure there is a way I can game it to, to like, always gain soul hearts from it but like if i hurt myself at the right timing it should give me like like in this room here it should give me two soul hearts but i'm not entirely sure if it works that way and so i don't want to hit myself in rooms where i might not get what what i'm expecting to get sort of thing double balefuls there we're back up to three balefuls Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah, I'm not particularly jazzed about my HP right now, but I think we'll be okay. Come on, boy. Die. It's annoying that we haven't actually found, like, tinted rocks or soul heart. Like, natural soul hearts that we can use here. Do not like the idea of this room here. Oh, bugger. It's not how I meant for that to go. But it kind of worked out. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I got the double soul heart payout. I got lucky.
Yeah, so I don't have enough money to take either of those yet, but let's see if I can maybe get it. So this is a full red heart right now. I just got hit on the full red heart one. Lovely. I don't even really know what I got hit by then. So this is grey for nothing. Nowhere to get across there. So it's grey for nothing. And then it's red for half a red heart, I think, now. The... Now it's red for a full red heart. Bugger! I'm trying to game the system right now and it's it's I'm not having a good time of it. I'm just losing HP. Doing so well not getting hit before. Burnheart is nice. Oh wait, no, Burnheart isn't nice. I need to get hit to get rid of that. I need my stats back. I don't think I've got enough time to game the system enough. Unfortunately, we do have this utter bastard to fight. I can't remember how this enemy works. Okay, so now we're on full red heart. So, then we're on to half red heart, half soul heart. So in my next room, I've got a gamble. I, th I think I have to try the gamble. If this thing could die, please, holy hell, this thing's got a lot of HP. Well, that's that's already good right there. I'll take that. So then this next room... Oh, no, I skipped over it. It was in the wrong room. These things hit me all the goddamn time, these enemies. I really hate them. That gave me eternal hearts. Balls, I was one room too long. Okay, let's let's try and play some extra rooms here to game this. So now we're up to So we're still on grey at the minute. We're up to half red heart. Then we are now up to full red heart. Got that sorted. Right, up to full red heart. This is stressful. This is stressful. I need I need more HP. I wonder why so many of those were golden poops. Is that like on purpose? It was crazy. So now it's half red heart, half soul. So the next room it'll be soul hearts. So in this room I want to take damage. There you go. Okay, and I gained a soul heart with that. Annoying enemy, but with the confusion and stuff we're getting going, shouldn't be too hard. The rifts help as well. Good, good. So now that's up to half red again. Right, now we're up to full red. 
again with these enemies, man. The enemies are rough. They just have so much HP. Dude, that hit me. Bullshit. I, th this is this is fucking stupid. I can't move. And these rooms... Oh my god, these enemies. Ugh. Right, now I have to keep trying to play out. Fuck this up a little bit. That worked, okay. The half red, half soul heart ones work. We might be able to get another one heart out of this. Right, take care of this bad boy. This trinket will transform to something else when I pick it up. Isaac's fork. Okay, we're on grey. I'm gonna need two more rooms, I think. Which I don't think we've actually got, unfortunately. No, we don't. So we're up to red. Bollocks! Okay, this is our HP. Unfortunately, it ain't great. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm not particularly confident going into this. This is this could be a loss, but I have hope. I'll sleep in the bed for whatever reason. I literally can't, okay. We are on soul hearts here. But it's weird that like it progresses the balloons even if it's a room that um even if it's a room that you didn't, like, do any combat in, it still progresses the, the state of the balloon, which I, I don't particularly like. Binky! Finally! Not only is that a huge tears up, but that's another soul heart. Okay, that has given me so much more hope. The single soul heart that gave me. It's put me in a good mood. And yeah, the fire rate bonus we've got going on right now is lovely. I do not like you constantly using this goddamn attack. When I say constantly, I mean fucking constantly. Holy goddamn shit. Can I calm down, bro? Do you wanna fucking calm down, bro? What the f- I don't think I've ever seen him do it that many times in a row before. Luckily, TV is busted now. We do get two soul hearts, I believe, on um, going to the beast, or is that only if you're below a certain amount of HP? And of course he does the spinny winnies straight away that hit me straight away. Fucking hate this goddamn stupid attack. Delete the shit from the game, please. It lasts way too long. It is a weird design for an attack, in my opinion. What attack lasts this goddamn long? Don't you dare fucking do it again. You shithead. It just lasts forever. It's like not that hard once you get into the groove of it. As I say that, I get hit again. But it just... You do it like six billion times. Just calm down. And you could just start it again straight away. Oh, God. It's... My anger on that attack. It knows no bounds. We didn't gain any HP here. We gained half a soul heart. Um... We do have a Holy Mantle coming in here. I think my heart shape balloons do still work. I was thinking we should be mostly okay, but honestly we're doing a really crap job of killing this guy. It's taking a really long time. He is in second phase now though, which helps tremendously. I wish these rifts would proc a little more often. Well, one of the rifts has kind of fucked us here. This is just an ins... Yeah. How was... How? How am I meant to dodge this bullshit? 
fucking get your shots at my bloody face. This is stupid. They're still there. Why are they still? A, this is a new boss. Clear the screen, please. I'm still dodging shots from the last goddamn boss. This isn't fair. Ooh, this guy's got the uh, thingy on him. Fettered attack, so uh, doing damage to everything when we hurt him. Good old ball of flies. Oh, God. That first boss annoyed the hell out of me there. I can't believe it just, like, stuck all of his shots just ling lingering on our screen for ages. Not okay, game. Not okay. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Really? Okay, luckily we've gotten through that phase pretty quick, actually. That attack's really annoying if you let him do the full thing. Bitch! God damn it! <sighs> Using way more HP than I want right now. Get my multiple crows on him, if there is even is multiple, which I think there is. I'm not actually sure. That was really weird attack pattern for that. Okay, the attack, the attack patterns for this, the rift is completely destroying the attack patterns. So this is getting a bit stressful now. The rift is pulling him ever closer towards me, and I don't like that. It's breaking everything. We're good. We got him. Okay, we should be fine now. I say should. There's still things that can go wrong on the beast, but the beast is normally the easiest bit of it all. The beast is normally just an endurance test. Boy, been a stressful one. Can we skip a phase here? No, we can't. We're not even close to skipping a phase, sadly. I don't like this phase because he's got the falling salagmites, which always trick me out. He's almost entering third phase now, though. There you go, we got him. Okay, now we're fine. At this point, we're fine. This is just the victory lap phase. We're so nimble as well, we can get through the Stalag match really easily. Just listen to the awesome music and let the good times roll. Oh, there you go. That was really stressful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy for win number 30. That was a fun one, and I will see you guys in the next one.